Are you sick of the mommy wars between the stay-at-home moms and the working moms? Don't you feel like the hostility actually turns to hugs once we empathize with each other? So rather than judge whether women should work or not work, why don't we hear from a group of working women themselves about why they actually leave their kids and go to a job? I'm Diane Mocha. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where mothers of all different backgrounds share the ups and downs and hacks of juggling career and kids. We want to help you feel less stressed and be that tribe of girlfriends you wish you had alongside you to cheer you on every day. I became a working mom even though I planned to stay home the first five years to raise my newborn until he went to kindergarten. But that all changed when he was six months old and I brought him to meet my previous co-workers. I joked to my old boss I would only come back if I could work one day a week. I just about fell on the floor when he said, I think I could arrange that. And so began my journey of maintaining my journalism career while raising my kids. You never know until you ask. It was a lot harder than I thought, especially as I added on more hours and started a side business when our finances took a dive and I felt I had no choice, like many of the moms tell me in this video. But not all of them. Some say they'd have a job even if they had unlimited wealth. Every mother's motivation to work is unique to her. So why do you work? So I like my kids more. <laughs> yeah. Are you married? Yes. Mm -hmm. And does your husband work? Yes. Do you have to have your income? No. So you work because you want to? Yes. Just extra spending money. Be able to do what I want to do. I'll probably still always work. I like to work. Was it by choice or did you have to? Had to, financially, yeah. And how'd you feel about that? Um, well, you know, for a long time, when I was still in an office, I'd drop her at, at like preschool or kindergarten and cry all the way to work. I think it probably started because I wanted to, but I definitely work because I have to. <laughs> Why? How, well, how did it change? Did you move into a bigger house? Or? Yeah, I mean, so my husband is a stay-at-home dad, so we're unique in that way. Um, but we were living in New York. I was always working, loved being there. But um, when we moved to Chicago, I started traveling like crazy. So we decided that he should be a stay-at-home dad, and it was going to be temporary, and it continued. So he's been home for four years and it's going really well. But I think just today, just to survive, you kind of need to have two working parents. So you know, in, the, in this day and age, you know, we, even just to, for minimal needs, you know, we're, we don't live fancy. We don't have a big house. We don't drive fancy cars, but you know, we, we like to travel and we, you know, we go camping. So we're not you know, spending it on hotels and, and high um, expensive travel. I wanted to make sure that I was always able to support myself. So that's hence the reason I just keep continuing to, to work, not really lose those skills that I had, you know, had you know, previously learned. Why did you choose to go back to work or was it not a choice? It wasn't a choice. Why? Because uh, I'm the breadwinner in the family and the benefits holder. So that makes it, makes it difficult, but I think, I would, I think I'm a better mom because I work. Why? I think that it, it would have been challenging for me to stay home and to um, entertain and, and keep her going. Are you a working mom because of necessity or desire? Desire. And if I leave my field, it would be very difficult for me to re-enter it. My job is important. It helps people. And that's important to me, too. And that's OK. If you're a lawyer, you have to be in the office until such and such a time. So I was, you know, my idea of what it meant to be a working mom and still a really involved parent wasn't, I couldn't find a way really to do it with the law as much. Um, and that's what I love about this, my career now, is that, you know, I am, I work at home, I have that flexibility. It's a great balance of the flexibility to be the kind of parent I want to be, but I do have a career that's really fulfilling. I'm an emergency room nurse. That's really important. You went to school a long time for that. Yes. So you didn't want to give that up? No, 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 so no. It's, mean, it's a break for me too, from home. So I needed that. <laughs> and financially, we needed the job too. Now that you know other moms are feeling as frustrated as you are and that it will get better, you've got more strength to face the struggle day in and day out. And I want to help by giving you more strategies from other working moms in my next video, 
where you get the courage to conquer your challenges. So subscribe to my Working Mom Warrior channel and click on the next video to boost your mojo as you relate to the successes and definitely the failures of the Working Mom Warriors who spill the beans so we can all benefit.